Greetings and wishes in the precious name of our omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, almighty God. Today we are going to meditate on one and the self-same spirit. One and the self-same spirit has power and gifts and he works in man. He works in all creations. And he has gifts and he has power. He operates himself in all or by or through all means in the creation, among the creations. So he is one head of the Almighty God. And he is all in all now for us. Let's see what he does as one and the self same spirit in us. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 says like this. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will. So what he wants, he wishes, he desires. Before he could have this desire and wish, he has a plan. He has a de determination in himself. He is all in all. So he has the personality and uh, he functions in the multi-dimensional way. See, he is, uh, we cannot uh, just tell that he is only the power which operates. It's not like that. He is himself and he operates his whole self in us. That's what we have to understand, how Jesus came to this earth and uh, we just have to his uh, personality on this earth. The same way Holy Spirit God, who one and the self same spirit, has the personality and he dwells in us and he operates himself in us. That's what we have to learn and understand and obey him and we have to march along with him and we have to live with him. We have to exactly live with him. We are alive with him. So that's how we have to understand. We don't realize actually we give importance to the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, that is a very, 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 very important. Because he is life. He is the word and he is the way. And Holy Spirit God is the word. And he is all in all now. At present, because Jesus said so. Jesus said, I'm going to leave you and I'm going to send Holy Spirit God at the Comforter and He is going to be with you and He is going to guide you in all means. So, Holy Spirit God knows the depth of Father God because all three in one. He is Almighty Head. And now we have to understand what, see, we, we know that what Jesus Christ did in, the, in this world. And we learn, we learn from the Word of God and we believe, we operate our faith and we are redeemed, we are saved, we are marching in a spiritual realm. Yes, but now we have to understand and we have to experience now at present Holy Spirit God is in us. That's what we have to do our faith in that particular aspect of God's leading. 
See here, but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit. So now Holy Spirit God is dwelling in us and he is working in us. He is working all the time. He is not doing separately and he is asking us to obey. Not like that. He is making us do. And so what he does is he is working in us. He is working all the time in us so that we are able to do so many, so many things. He is making us do something. That's how we have to understand. See, he worked that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man because every individual is a poem. Every individual is a work of God. Every one is precious. That's how God sees us. So he divides something in every man, every individual, and every one is precious in the sight of God. That's why we, you see, when Holy Spirit God dwells in us, we know it, we believe it, we operate our faith, we enjoy Him, we are alive with Him, and when He works in us as the only one, he is the self same spirit and he is the one dividing in every man severally as his will. That's what we have to understand. See Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4 says, God also bearing their witness both with the diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. See Holy Spirit God knows the depth of Father God Almighty and what he hears from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ heard so many things from Father God and Jesus Christ told Holy Spirit God so many things and Holy Spirit God got the information from Father God and got all the information from Jesus Christ and they worked together as one. So he... So when Holy Spirit God works in us, that means Jesus is behind and Father God is behind. So when Holy Spirit God works in us, he has his own will to operate in our skills, in man's abilities. That's, what, that's how he says, see, for this, who is bearing witness? Almighty God and Jesus Christ is there with Almighty God. That's what Jesus said. I'm going, I'm going to sit by the right side of Father God. And both of them together stay witness for us. Witness for Holy Spirit God. Now, Holy Spirit God is operating in us. How does he operate? He operates with diverse miracles and gifts. Where are the miracles and where are the gifts? It's not in us. It is in Holy Spirit God and the miracles and gifts of Holy Spirit God himself is getting revealed through us and it is all working by us. So that's how it is with diverse miracles and gifts. It's not only one or two. Now we have to have a good knowledge and understanding about Holy Spirit God's operations in us. So when we misunderstand so many things, now there, there are a lot of confusions among Christians in the churches. Now we have to understand each and every one is important and every miracle is important and every gift is important. So we need not have jealous on the others because you are special and I am special. I am special in my own way and you are special in your own way. And don't underestimate God's hand. Don't underestimate any miracles or any gifts. There is no bigger miracle or smaller miracles, bigger gifts or smaller gifts. Everything is working in the establishment of the kingdom of God. 
that's the intention now we are going to everybody is going to face this eternity in christ by christ through christ and the holy spirit god is the one who is going to take us to the heavenly kingdoms to the eternal kingdom living so we are all of us are going to work with the holy spirit god so he is operating in us with diverse miracles and gifts according to his own will let's take it as he is as we are so we have to have the stabilized attitudes and healthy um feelings and emotions because we are all eternal beings that's how god is uh, keeping us in a very precious and very special way mark chapter 16 verse 20 and they went forth and preached everywhere the lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following amen hallelujah see the disciples were working the disciples were just telling the gospel so when the disciples were telling or sharing the gospel good news to everybody and god was with them and each one was doing different uh, ministries different areas different types of people different types of environment so all the disciples they are 12 disciples they are going to sit on the throne same throne there is not going to be any difference between each and every throne maybe according to the to their needs they may be working in a different scale and the ultimate goal is to work for the kingdom of god the heavenly kingdom see acts chapter 19 verse 11 and 12 and god wrought special miracles by the hands of paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them see na it's a special gift for paul a special operation in paul or by paul or through paul that's how the word of god says god wrought special miracles by the hands of paul holy spirit god directly doesn't operate anything he uses you and me he uses the disciples he uses the ministers he uses the believers every one who is cleansed by the word of god and uh, by jesus christ through jesus christ for jesus christ with jesus christ who are all existing have have these experiences see it's a wonderful experiences that we get from our heavenly loving father now you see here god wrought special miracles by the hands of paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them please kindly uh, let's be careful because god operated such things specially by paul it doesn't mean the same methods are operated by you or me that's how we have to be careful we are special in his own way, in our own ways and he operates something specially in us it's not by the same methodology of the throwing handkerchief or through taking the pot or something like that now here we have to just uh, think about some examples from the old testament see when um, noah's time among all the men noah was the righteous one in the sight of god 
in the sight of Father God. How come Noah alone was righteous? Now here we have to just think a bit. Holy Spirit God was the one who was operating in man. And it is not outwardly, it, is, it cannot be seen, but it is inwardly. When he operates, he uses human beings to bring forth or to establish God's kingdom's effect. And who obeys, conquers his environment. That's how it happens. He is not partial. He operates by grace. It is, of course, 100% grace. Noah has got the grace. How come he got the grace? That's what my point. Abraham got the grace. David got the grace. How come? Is it God's own, own wishes that he just uh, sends away everybody and only he selects the people? Of course he selects the people. On what basis? On what grounds? That's what we have to think. It is hidden. Holy Spirit, God operates in, inside human beings, inside his creations, when he operates, see each one of us has got, have, we have got speciality. Each man is special. Each man is different. Each creation is different. So when he operates on principles, so the person obeys to certain principles, the person obeys to some other principles. So according to the abilities and the listening capacities or the obedience or the, we may not be capable but we have the sincerity to obey we are getting tuned to the spirit of God in a different style different aspects then God decides okay I can make this man do this one I can make this man do that one that's how God is making us do things. It depends on our see, listening, obedience, and our decision to, we may not be qualified, but we decide or we desire to do certain things. And we just go ahead with God's help. Then God uses that. That's how we have to understand. See, God is powerful one and we are not doing it by our might. We are doing it by his might. That's why God is testing the warriors before they go to the war. Because the war, anyway God is going to fight. Why does he need that man to have qualification? He wants to see inner man's sincerity and obedience and love and acceptance. And that's how God tests. See, that's why when God said, why did I, when God was just searching, uh, when his eyes were searching the whole earth, he found David. The, obe the obediency, uh, the characteristics inside him. That's what God says. When he was searching the, all over the world, he said that he found David. So God expects certain things to do on earth and he searches for man. And Holy Spirit, God is working in, inside man and whoever listens to him, sensitive towards his tasks he operates now let's see another example from second king chapter 4 20 now verse 29 then he said unto gehazi gird up thy loins 
And take my staff in thine hand, and go thy way. If thou meet any man, salute him not, and if any salute thee, answer him not. Again, and lay my staff upon the face of that child. See now the prophet sends his uh, assistant to do some miracle. So when he sends his assistant to do the miracle, the assistant is not uh, qualified to do the miracles. The assistant does not have any power. The assistant is dummy. But only one thing the assistant has the authority that he is holding the staff of the prophet. And he has the ability to obey to the prophet. He has the humbleness and knows the task of doing certain things. Because he is living along with the prophet and he knows that this, what this prophet says, something great is going to happen. That's all. That's it. So, see, the one and the self-same spirit, when he operates in us, in you and me, we need to be with him. We have to be alive with him. And he operates his power. He operates, operates his gifts in us. So we'll be different. The performance of the miracles. But let's not have comparison and jealous or any um, misunderstanding, no discriminations among us, we have to be alive with one and the self-same spirit in his operations. Let's have a wonderful attitude and um, the high values in us. Let's be working for the heavenly kingdom. Let's be alive with one and the self-same spirit. God bless you.